Hello again, my favorite equestrians. I am here standing with the Baroness because I really want to do some more with the stranger in the basement, <laughs> in the wine cellar basement. A guy from the GED who somehow ended up there. Really weird. Really interesting. We need to figure out what's going on here. So let's talk to the Baroness. Madam, let's discuss. You are an orderly girl, Nova. How could it take so long? Of course, it is probably my own fault. It has been years since I have seen been down in the wine cellar. It must be very disorganized down there by now. I think it would be best if I went down there and looked into it myself. Nova, let's go down and take a look right now. What's that? There's a wasp nest on the cellar stairs? Would you do me a favor and get rid of it? I'm allergic to bees, you know. Okay, so we're gonna ride ahead. We brought we brought the Baroness back some wine and she's decided she wants to go down there. So let's ride ahead and let this guy know. <laughs> Although I still think we should tattle on him because somebody needs to be made aware that GED is drilling into the winery basement. Hey guy, GED trainee. Oh no, the Baroness is on her way here? She's not gonna be happy when she sees what I've done. What are we gonna do? You mean you? What are you gonna do, my friend? <laughs> we did not cause this. What should we do? I have no idea. Hide the hole in the wall? We can't do that. Lock the door with barrels? I'm not sure I understand, but I'll trust you. Don't shut me in here. I, I promise I won't make a sound. I'll be quiet as a mouse. Pick up the barrels and block them. No! I don't want to do this. I feel like this is the wrong thing to do. Ah. Uh, I'm not comfortable with lying to the Baroness. Okay, now let's, uh... Okay, here we go. There they go. This is so weird. Okay, he's in there now. Oh, we need to speak to the Baroness again. Okay, I double checked the quest. I wasn't sure, because it kept saying find more wine barrels, but we used all the ones that were there. We need to talk to the Baroness again. Uh, bees nest is gone, madam. Hello, young lady. Is the wasp nest gone now? Excellent. Meet me in the wine cellar as soon as you can. Oh, okay, here we are. Oh, I thought we were there. No, we just got a sneak preview of it. <laughs> there she is. It's overflowing with wine in the cellar. How could we fill up the cellar all the way up to the door? It has been a good couple of years now, but I didn't know it had been this good. We need to expand the cellar. Can you take care of this development, Nova? Great. You can see to it that the cellar gets renovated. I promise you will be well compensated for your efforts. We're agreed then. Let me know when you are done. It will be so exciting to see the new cellar. Work quickly, dear. See you soon. Wow, so we're plumbers and contractors now? Hmm. Who knew? Do we take these down now? What do we do? Yes. Oh, we moved them. All right, guy, you owe us a lot. Oh, no. How are we going to fix this, Nova? Again, I think this is on you, my friend. I'm not so good at this kind of thing. Digging a hole and then filling it back in. But for this, I think concrete would do the trick. I know there are tons of it up at North Link. How are we going to get a few tons of cement here? I have no idea, but I'm sure you will come up with something. You are as smart as a Nobel Prize winner. We just met. How does he know? Maybe you can find a way to fool the boss up there? Come back as soon as you can. Oh, I'm sure he'll give us some concrete. We introduced him to his wife. Future wife. Bride to be. I don't know. There's more. Concrete? Listen up. Don't go thinking we just give out concrete to anyone who asks for it. Anyways, we don't have any concrete right now. The last delivery has gotten lost on its way here. Can you believe it? The guy who drove the truck sent an SMS saying he was driving around Yorvik and doesn't know where he is. I have no idea where he could be. Could you figure out what his message is supposed to mean? 
Hey, uh, I just got lost. North of me is a windmill. To the east is a big castle. I have no idea where I am. I'm super tired right now. Can't drive anymore now. Stop down a hill. Come find me. Lightning. I don't really get what he's trying to say, and I have a lot of other things to do. Maybe you could find him and give him directions here? Great. I'll SMS him and say you will be coming to find him. Ooh, so I have an idea with... Will's windmill to the north and the castle to the east. Okay, we should be close. There's the windmill to the north and the castle to our east. Does anybody see him? Okay, so this quest was a little tricky, so I wanted to show you guys uh, specifically on the mini map and the larger map where this truck is located because I was thinking of it in reference to where we are where we're coming from like if we're standing there the castles to our north and the I mean the castles to the east and the windmill is to the north but this is more in reference to on the map so where you're standing on the map Silverglade Castle is to the east and uh, the windmill is to the north, not in relation to the, because it would put us on the other side of the map. That's a little strange, a little strange, but we found him. He is here. So don't stress out if you had trouble finding him. It was a little confusing for sure. Hey truck driver. What's up? Is it you who's going to show me the way to the building site? I've got tons of cement I need to get rid of. Where should I take it? I don't really know. The directions I got were worthless. So you have directions to the build site? To the farm up there? To a factory by the farm? That is very close to here. Excellent. Okay, I'll drive there and unload the concrete in the cellar. No problem. Great, see you at the winery then. So we gave him the wrong directions. <laughs> Great. Aha, there's the truck. He made it here at least. <laughs> hey truck driver, you made it. Hello there. I took a bit of a roundabout way here, but it got me here before you anyways. They don't call me lightning for nothing. Okay, so we are all set to unload the concrete now. This is going to take a while, so you might as well come back tomorrow. You can trust old lightning. Cheers. See you then. Bye-bye, guy. This whole situation, I feel like it's gotten way out of hand. We have some new guy working for a company that we don't like drilled into the basement, and now we're helping him cover it up should have just told the Baroness about it. That's how I feel. What about you guys? What do you think? You're okay with helping him or should we have talked to the Baroness about it? Mary, Mary, the Barry, banana, fan of fairy. Hey, Mary. I figured out what I want to give him. The baker in Silverglade Village makes the best chocolate hearts I know. I'd like to give him a whole box, but I don't want him to know they're from me. Could you ride to the baker, order a box, and give it to the cute guy? He usually sits on a barrel by the fountain. I'd be so grateful. Of course we will. That's so cute. Which would you rather get, jelly hearts or chocolate hearts? I think I would rather get chocolate hearts. Okay, so now we need to talk to Harold the baker. Secretly. Even though he's right there. You again. Do you want more candy? You sure know how to woo people. <laughs> I guess he needs to make the candy now. Oh, sorry. Oh, I thought we were going to have more to do with Lance today. Oh, come on, Harold. You can do it. Okay, I couldn't resist. I stayed the night because I want to know what happens. True love waits for no one. Here we go. One box of chocolate hearts for you. Who's the lucky one this time? Lance? Oh, you're delivering it for a friend? Right, I've heard that story before. Oh, no. We don't want to steal Lance. We want him to fall in love with Mary. What's this? You have chocolates for me? From whom? Who could it be? Oh, are they from Mary? Do I dare hope that? Yes, you do. We need to tell him. You're so mysterious. But whoever the secret admirer is, I want to write a love letter to Mary. So there. But how do you write a fine love letter? Can you help me? Yes, yes, we can. Roses are red. Violets are blue. If I invite you to a date, will you say I do? Cool, Nova. I really hope she likes, wants to go on a date with me. It's a bit embarrassing to confess, but I would never have done this without your help. Ah, yay, we, get, we have to write a love letter. Do we have to deliver it to Mary or anything? No, I think we're just waiting. All right. Since we stayed the night, this gives us a chance to check on the cement goings on. 
Hey, cement guy. Truck driver. Hey, uh, like I said, you can always trust lightning. All the cement's in the cellar. See you later, alligator. I hope that intern did some work while we were gone. Hopefully he sealed up that hole. Probably not. He's probably down there going, I don't know how to do this. I need your help. Hey, guy. Oh, that's a lot of cement. Oh, my gosh. Hey, there. Now we have a lot of cement. Hmm. I'm not sure what to do, but I will do my best. There is another thing that maybe you can help me with. You understand I don't have a GPS to help me navigate this thing. The GED guys didn't think I would need one. No room in the budget, the boss said. But without one, I don't really feel safe starting to drill again. But I have an idea. I know that at the oil field near here, there is a shed where they store both maps and GPS consoles. Can you ride over there and see if you might be able to get one? Now he wants us to steal a GPS. This guy is no good. No good at all. Oh, there's a guy guarding the shed. What are we gonna do? Guard. Are you my relief? Wait a minute. I don't see very well. Let's get a look at you. No, you were not employed by GED. Listen here, take a few steps back. This storage is for employees only. No, 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 take a few steps back. You won't be getting past me. This storage is very, very important. How long will I be standing here? I'm waiting for my relief now. He is a bit late, but I won't be leaving my post for that. I'll wait for him if it takes a week. Don't try anything funny. I have my eyes like a hawk. Maybe a nearsighted hawk, but a hawk nonetheless. I need to find a way to get past the guard. Maybe the intern has an idea. I don't know that he will. Hey, we need some, some advice. Oh, I don't know. Short-sighted, you say? What, are you kidding me? You want me to take off my clothes? You want to build a big doll? I, I don't know, but okay. I'm not sure I like this, though. I don't like anything you've proposed, sir, so... If you go look for something to build a doll with, I'll take off my clothes, and you'll need to promise me you won't peek! Promise! No, we will not. I don't know why we don't just put the clothes on, but... Alright, doll it is. So I left the cellar to look for stuff to build a doll with, but apparently we're supposed to look around down here for stuff. Aha. We have a bucket. What's in here? A broom. And another broom. Two brooms and a bucket. Oh, he's in the barrel. <laughs> here I am, here in the barrel. Here are my clothes too. Promise me that I will get them back. Oh, it's really cold down here. Let's see. Do you really think this will work? You would have to be almost blind to be fooled by this. This might be our only chance. No, I don't think I want to come out again until I have my clothes back. Take the doll and put it out in the field so the short-sighted guard thinks his relief has arrived. Hurry up. It's cold down here. Okay, so we have this doll. We need to stick it somewhere where he's not really going to be able to tell what it is. Right here, maybe? Oh, we need to be dismounted. Okay. Let's stick this doll in right here. Hey! <laughs> Stop and identify yourself. Who are you? I don't know you. Are you here to relieve me? You are dressed like a GED employee and are tall and proud, so you must be my replacement. I like you. You can relax a little now. You don't need to stand at attention the whole time. Though I like that you are showing me so much respect. You don't say much, do you? Great! There is always too much talk around here. Focus on the job. That's my advice. A word of warning, though. Watch out for this girl who's trying to get into the storage shed. <laughs> me right here. <laughs> she is pretty tricky. But she won't fool me. I think we just did. Oh, we got it. We need this map, too. Yes. I think it worked. It's really cold in here. Hey, you're back. Can I have my clothes back now, please? Ugh, so cold. Lie them down beside the barrel and leave the room so I can change, please. No peeking. Is that is that his clothes? Work clothes. Where do you want them? Oh. There he is. There we go. Nice to have some clothes on again. Now you can look. Now I'm going to use this cement so that all traces of my mistake are gone. 
<laughs> Good idea. That's a lot of cement, though. I think he's going to have some extra. With a little time left, I wanted to check in on Bjorn and get a little more work done on the garden because I think it's going to look awesome. Wait, I have a vision. Yes, this is how it should be. Think, Nova, you're sitting on and relaxing, surrounded by our beautiful flowers. What could be more relaxing than that? I'll tell you. A little pool with bubbling fresh water. As luck would have it, we already have a pool here, but there are so many holes in it that I'm afraid it will fill with water. If you could find stones for me, I can patch it. We can't just use old any old rocks. They need to be the exact right kind. Otherwise, it will look uncommonly awful. You understand, right? The perfect stones are only at one place in all of Jorvik, below the cliffs to the winery. So, it isn't that far away. Pretty lucky, right? Ride over there, close to the riding arena, and collect some of those perfect stones. Hurry! Ooh, a pool! That's gonna look awesome. I'm down at the base of this hill here. The garden's right up there. Just past the riding hall. There seem to be some uh, kind of cinder blocky type rocks. They appear to already be shaped, <laughs> so that's pretty convenient. Okay, Bjorn, we have your blocks, stones, rocks, stones. Let's see. These will be perfect. I'm going to repair the pool and turn on the water right away. Right over and take a look. Oh, so quickly. Nice. Oh, I see. Stones to line it. Got it. Let's go take a peek. Oh, there's ducks inside! Oh, this place is gonna be so awesome. I can't wait to see it. Hey, duckies. Yay! We are so close to level 15 now. We've just been cruising through a bunch of these awesome quests. I cannot wait to see Lance and Mary get together and find out what's going to happen with the GED trainee in the basement. Who knows? <laughs> I think this area is going to look amazing when it's done. I cannot wait. I think it's going to be a long quest line. I've heard it takes a long time to do, but doing one or two quests every day seems to be good. And now it's just reputation stuff. So I'll do that off camera so we can move it along a little bit, but I think it's going to be awesome. The ducks already love it. Dana told us she cannot wait to unlock the Welsh ponies. In the meantime, she bought a Chinko Teague from Veildale, the reddish and white one, I believe. Yes. Named Cinnamon Rain. I like that name. And the pony is decked out in purple, which she said looks fabulous on that coloring. So if you guys need any uh, gear suggestions, Dana suggests purple. <laughs> Hannah bought the Palomino Welsh pony. Loves her. So glad she bought her. Named Apple Dawn. Well, I guess it could be a boy pony too. She's glad that she bought him or her. <laughs> And I really like the name Apple Dawn. I like a lot of names that have apple in them. Apple and pumpkin. I just, I always like those. They're super cute. Triple Muffin also loves the Welsh ponies. They purchased uh, one named Honey Wish, which has blue tack and looks great. So I think, yeah, the blue tack would look awesome on a lot of the uh, the ponies. The, the greenish blue, that's the South Hoof color probably looks great on them as well so the blue I can see the blue working too so some great tax suggestions from you guys and I'm so happy that everyone's loving the Welsh ponies I love them as well I'm on uh, Royal Escape today because it's been a while I like to rotate the horses a bit and everyone gets a chance to go out and it's been a while since we've been on Royal Escape so spending some time with him it's nice. <laughs> I hope you guys are having a blast in Star Stable. Tune in next time. We are so close to 15. We're going to be unlocking some new areas soon. And these quests are really interesting. <laughs> I will see you next time. Bye.